sample Sunday time. <clears throat> and here I am with a sample for this Sunday. This here is a Dingle Irish Single Malt Non-Age Statement Batch 5, 46.5%. It's matured in Bourbon, Pedro Jimenez, Madeira, and that's it. Bourbon, Pedro Jimenez, and Madeira casks. 46%. So I'm starting higher than I usually do. I usually start at 40% and I I go up from there, but all the whiskeys I'm going to try this week are relatively high in uh, alcohol content and a couple of them are even uh, cast strength. So we will start at 46% and this is tight. Ah, got it. I got it open. This is a sample sent Again, by the malt muser. He sent me a lot of samples, that guy. And I like to try all of them. Not every one of them is exactly to my taste. But um, that's part of the journey. You're going to get some that you don't like quite so much. And you're going to get others that just blow your socks off. Had to wet my whistle first before going for this. Non H statement Irish single malt. Let's see what. I've never had Dingle before. We can't get it around here. But I've heard things about it. I've seen people make videos about it before. And so I'm going to. Cheating action, but it's slow. Quite viscous. Hmm. Smells nice. Smells fruity. I get a little bit of apple and cinnamon. I get some pear. I got some maraschino cherries, you know, the ones that come in the Del Monte fruit cup and they, they're with the syrup. Oh, yeah. So, interesting. It's got a bit of a sweetness probably from the uh, Pedro Jimenez. There's also some some vanilla, some caramel from the ex bourbon cask, and uh, something more fruity from the Madeira. Quite a nice combination. So here you have the malt. It is malty too. But that malty, that malt is very much covered up by the multiple cask influences here. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It probably makes it more interesting than if it would have just been straight bourbon barrels. I had another sample from Malt Muser not long ago, um, and it from what I could tell was just ex bourbon barrel cast strength was a was a scotch a single malt scotch and it absolutely had no complexity at all there was nothing redeeming uh, about it I, and I was just disappointed but this here there's a lot going on in this nose it's a nice combination of sherry and fortified wine and but it's not overdone it's not overdone it's done just right it's just balanced at least on the nose what are we getting on the palate
Okay. It's oily. It's thick and oily. The mouthfeel is substantial. But that was just the first sip. The first sip, you can't really tell much. You have to be a little bit accustomed to the, the whiskey, accustomed to the flavor to really pick out what's going on. As usual, I keep my mouth a little bit open when I nose. It's still a beautiful nose. It's still fruity, a little bit spicy too. What is the spice? A little bit of um, white pepper, a little bit of allspice, like steak spice. Could it also be that I'm getting some wood tannins. And was the Pedro Jimenez um, a Quercus Robur, meaning that was it a, a European oak? Madeira was probably a European oak. Smells interesting. Along with the sweetness, I'm getting some tannins. A little bit of barn board, too. Okay, let's go for that second sip. Okay, it's thick and a bit fruity, but then it transitions when I swallow. I'm getting big pears, apples, some cinnamon. I'm getting allspice. I'm getting white pepper. I'm getting spicy, spicy woody notes too. Um, Oak tannins. It's nice. The finish lingers on. Um, it's still spicy, but fading. Still spicy, but fading. The fruits have just moved aside, pretty much. And um, get a spicy finish. And a bit of a hug down the throat, which is not a bad thing. But the spiciness is still there, both on the back of my palate and out on the tip of my tongue. Still a little spicy. Yeah, that's a medium to long finish, I would say. Now, after it's been open for a while, well, a few minutes, I'm getting less of the fruitiness and more of the spiciness on the nose. Could that be because of time or because I have had two sips already? I'm going to give it another one. It's quite spicy now. Thick, oily, slippery, alkaline mouthfeel. There it is again. It translates to, transitions to big fruits. Big apples and cinnamon and pears. Yes, I'm actually also getting the maraschino cherries on the palate. I'm more accustomed to it. White pepper, allspice. And then the spicy finish. A bit of oak tannin, not so much as there was before. 
but it's there. Yeah. I think I would like more of this if I ever find it. It's a very fruity single malt. And yet, it's not like a space side. It's not like a Highland. It says Irish. You couldn't mistake this for a Scotch or something Canadian. It's Irish, very Irish. Yes, I enjoy sipping on this one. Very pleasant, fruity, and then the spicy finish. Very nice. Very, very nice. I recommend it. If you can get this non-age statement batch five dingle single malt Irish whiskey in your neighborhood, go for it. If you can get it online, go for it. I recommend this. I wish I could get it. Slanchava. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha.